So here we are in Adobe Illustrator and the first thing we need to create our custom dollar sign is to enable the grid and the snap to grid feature. So go to view, then go to show grid, then go to view again and snap to grid. And there's one more very important feature that we need to enable. So go down to the transform panel. If it isn't open, you can find it in a window and transform right here. Now go down to this drop down menu right here and make sure align new objects to pixel grid is disabled, meaning there's no check mark right here. If you have this feature enabled, you will most likely encounter some issues. So just leave it off. When this is done, simply select the ellipse tool, hold down the shift key to make a perfect circle, go to one of these crosshairs right here and create a circle that is two by two squares. Then create another circle just down below and this circle should also be two by two squares. Make sure the circles are touching each other right here. Now pick the zoom tool and zoom in to the two circles. Then pick the line tool and draw a line from right here and all the way down to right here. Make sure it's right in the middle of these two lines right here and the same goes for the top. Then draw a line from right here to right here and a line from right here to right here. The length of these two lines doesn't matter as long as they go all the way through these circles. Now pick the selection tool, select all lines and circles, pick the shape builder tool and while holding down the alt key delete this line right here and also this line right here. Then pick the selection tool again, select these two lines again and delete them. Leaving behind the basic shape of our custom dollar sign. But there's a couple of things we still need to do. For instance, our two circles are not connected as you can see right here. So select this circle right here, hold down the shift key and select this circle as well. Now simply go to object, go to path and click join. Now if we deselect the circles, we can see that they are now joined as one path. Now select the fill, disable the fill, leaving only the stroke behind. Then select both the line and the S and give the stroke a width that you like. I'll choose 40 points. Then to make the round edges, go to the stroke menu and select round cap. So now we have a dollar sign stroke, but we want to make a fill with a stroke around it. So what we need to do is go to object, go to expand, make sure fill and stroke is on and click OK. So now we have an S and a line right through it. But in our case, we want to get rid of the lines inside the S and we also want to combine the S with the line, making it one single shape instead of two. To do this, we use the Shape Builder tool, then hold down the Alt key to subtract and subtract this line right here. Do the same thing for this line right here. But we can see that our dollar sign is still not one single shape. It is divided into a lot of different shapes. So to make it one single shape, Make sure you have the ALT key released, giving us a plus sign next to the cursor and simply combine all these shapes. When all these shapes are combined, pick the selection tool again and while having the dollar sign selected, we can give the fill a color that we like. Then pick the stroke and give the stroke a color that you like. I will choose a darker green for the stroke. Now make the stroke wider and to make these corners more round, go to the stroke menu and select round join. Thank you for watching.